Oh, Jamie, frustration this afternoon. We had a right good go towards the end, but it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, I think frustration is definitely the right word. Um, first half, um, I don't think they've had a shot until the first shot of the game, but it just seems to be our Achilles heel where we concede so many poor goals, so many poor goals, and we give ourselves an uphill battle. Um, it's an individual error again. The second goal is not much better. Um, we actually played some good stuff at times, so it is frustrating. Um, we addressed one or two things at half time. I think the second half performance is probably one of the best we've put in since we've been in our roles. We've probably created five, six really good chances, probably enough to, to win two or three games. So the frustration is that we keep conceding these poor, poor goals. Um, and the frustration is that there's a, there's a group of lads in there who will keep going till the end, they'll keep fighting and we're always in games. But giving teams one, two, three goal head starts just isn't good enough at this level. Yeah, it must be so difficult and frustrating to put your finger on because, you know, it's happening, it's the conversation we're having so many times, especially in the last few weeks, it would seem. Yeah, we're like a broken record in there. We're seeing the same, same things and I don't think we can legislate for some of the goals we concede. Um, you know, it, it, it's always an individual error. To, it, you know, we switch off, the decision making isn't quite right. And it seems as though we have to go and score two, three goals to, to win a football match. At this level, you, as I said before, you just you, you can't do that. And you can't legislate for the poor goals we've conceded. But fair play to them in the second half because there were some strong words in there at half time. Um, and the response that they gave us in the second half was, was fantastic. And I think. You look at them, you know, 14 games unbeaten, which is, you know, a huge credit to them. But I felt, you know, we were a better team, far better team in that second half. And, you know, was so frustrated that we haven't come away with something today. It was a lovely finish when it came. Ben Taylor back in the side after his ankle injury, a big boost for everyone. But the goal just didn't come quickly enough for us, did it? It didn't, no. And um, I think we'd hit the bar, we'd hit the post before that to keep us pulled off two or three worldies. Um, and it, it was our luck on the day. Um, but. I, I think the, the the big point is, you know, we've given away two sloppy goals in a, in a game where they've probably only had three or four shots. Um, Dan's really been really been troubled. We've dominated possession, we've dominated, you know, entries into the final third and chances created. But again, we're on the wrong side of the result, you know. And we've been in games where we've been poor and we've took three points, and we're in that stage of the season where. Yes, it's brilliant that we've put a good performance in, but we'd much prefer them points. We'd much prefer to have them points on the board. Yeah, frustrating because we, we keep on saying, don't we, we want to try and get to where we want to get to. The top seven seems to be just getting further and further away at the moment. Though. It does, yeah. Um, we've got to keep believing. We've got to keep trying to stay positive. Obviously, we've got two really tough games over the bank all day, but points points change everything. If you can go and take four or six points over that weekend, you give yourself a bit you know, a chance um, and a bit of belief going into the last few games. The last thing I want to do, you know, with, with all the hard work that, you know, us as a management, people at the club and, and the players have put in over the past few months is go out with a whimper this season. The fans deserve a lot more than, than, than that. You know, the way they've supported us again today was absolutely sensational. Um, you know, so we've, we've got to lift the players again. Um, we've got to go again on Tuesday and, and work really hard in training. Um, and we've got to go into the file game really positive and um, hopefully put a performance in as long as as well as getting them results as well. Just finally, uh, uh, there was a late change on the bench this afternoon. Michael Ledger came on in, in place of Mark Anderson, who was injured in the warm-up. Is that anything to be too concerned about? I think it's a hamstring injury. Um, it, it's be, been unfortunately a little bit of a reoccurrence for Sparks at times over, over the past you know couple of years and stuff. And you know he's a huge player for us. Um, what he brings, not just on the pitch, but you know his role within within the squad and, and the football club as a whole. So it was disappointing to lose him. It was nice to see Michael obviously back in the squad because he was fantastic up until he picked up um, a reoccurrence of his angle injury but you know we'll see where we are on Tuesday there might be some knocks and niggles we, we've been in that position a couple of times this season um, but it gives other people that opportunity to come in and state that claim as well.